Comic Collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at the DX Beat Raise Buckle from Kamen Rider Geats. And even though Geats is shown using the buckle here on the front of the packaging, I think this is the first time that actually somebody else has debuted the buckle because we actually saw Nago get it first on the show and use it before Geats. So hey, that's a milestone. Uh, this also does come with the Nago Core ID, so very cool finally getting some more Core IDs up to four now, I think. Uh, this is also the first Ray's buckle that actually makes sounds on its own, which is very cool. So we'll check all of that out. Over here on the side just says the name, Beat Ray's buckle. Over here on this side just shows you the contents of the box, being the Beat Ray's buckle and the Nago Core ID. Not really much going on there on the bottom. Spin it around to the back and we do see, you know, all the different combinations and things using it with the Desire Driver. Of course, we'll take a look at that. And then we have two LR44 watch batteries included, which is always appreciated. You don't have to provide batteries for this. Very cool. So yeah, pretty cool packaging. I'm gonna go ahead and get this out of the box and we'll take a closer look. So here is the DX Beat Rays buckle out of the packaging. This thing is super colorful and fun. I really like it a lot. You can see the design here is all kind of made to look like different sound levels, which is really cool. We have a speaker right here because it does have sounds on its own before we even connect it to the desired driver. There's a little tab right here where you pull the batteries out, and if you ever needed to replace the batteries, they go right behind this panel right here. Here is the QR code on the back. Let me zoom in there so you can see that. And then in the plastic there, it says it is number 67. So this thing's really cool. You can hit the different keys down here for like slightly different music. To me, it kind of sounds fairly similar, but... So when you kind of hit the record here, it makes the scratch sound. Now when you have it connected to the driver, that's going to initiate the transformation. But you can also just use it to cancel out the sound in this mode. So very cool. You can also just kind of do this on its own. So you can get the cool fun scratch sound there. This thing's really fun. I like it a lot. I really do. I think it's kind of neat that it has sounds on its own. Like I said, I'm pretty sure it's the first raise buckle to do that. So that's very cool. Uh, we do also get the... Nago Core ID, which is looking very sharp with this gold paint here on the front. Not a ton to this, it's really just this kind of translucent black plastic with the gold paint, but looks pretty cool. I like it a lot. Let's go ahead, let's bring in the Desire Driver. So we'll start off by popping in our new Core ID. So the beat raise buckle is a little different. You actually have to hit the button first to start the music and then connect it. So the keys are actually purely ornamental. I mean, they do play the sound, but you don't need them at all for the transformation. You could just use the record because that's basically what triggers the button underneath to start the driver. So this will just play music pretty much until you actually hit this. And so I just wanted to show, if we take this off, you don't actually have to hit the music. Like, the music will just play until you start, but if you don't have to, just to show what it would sound like without. So you don't have to play the music ahead of time, it's just fun. But this is kind of a completely separate thing. The keys will play that music, but the record is actually what triggers the music to stop and also the transformation. And even if you have it connected already, it tells you to hit the key, then do this for the strike, but you don't have to. Again, you could just hit this.
Up next, let's try it with boost. We'll try it out with a couple other random buckles. So up first we have Monster. Couple of the smaller ones. You really got to make sure you spin that enough so that the button underneath pulls back and then hits the button. So lastly, we're going to try it with the Magnum Shooter 40X. And I did want to point out before we get started that if you use the keyboard to start the music, there's nothing in the Magnum Shooter that will stop the music. So I'll just show you what that sounds like first. So 
So the only thing that will stop the music is the record. So you'll still get the same sound because either just attaching it or using the gimmick on the raise buckle both triggers the attack sound with the Magnum shooter. But I just wanted to show you that nothing in the gun will make the music stop. And then just for fun, we'll do it one time without starting the music. I think this is a really fun raised buckle. Honestly, might be one of my favorites so far. I think the color scheme looks fantastic. I really like all the different music cues you can get from playing the different keys. Uh, also, just for fun, if you want to just kind of play the keys. So I think that's really fun. I just think this one's really neat. It's the only one we've gotten so far that actually has its own sound, which is really cool. So you can kind of just play with the keys and all the different music you can get from that. The record scratch sound is really fun. And then you have all the different sound effects using it with the Desire Driver and the Magnum Shooter 40X. I think this one's a ton of fun. I definitely recommend picking this one up. If you've been kind of picking and choosing Ray's buckles up until now, I think this is definitely on the short list of ones to pick up. Also, you get the Nago Core ID, which looks really sharp. I really like that gold paint there, which is really cool. And she's been a great character so far, so very excited to finally get her Core ID. I definitely think this is a really great set. I definitely recommend picking this up. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks so much for watching.